when I talk to the public, um, some of the, of the points most often raised are indeed parking and speeding. And we are building these issues into the plan going forward as we refresh the police and crime plan. This question says, um, speeding has been raised as an emerging issue in rural Cornwall uh, in the local strategic assessment and from correspondence in Truro and on the Isles of Scilly. What are the challenges to effective policing of this speeding issue in these areas? Please. Thank you. Uh, I think um, in terms of the challenge, uh, obviously we can't be everywhere, um, but what I would say is that we have a um, quite a big team actually of people who can tackle and, and effectively do tackle the issue of speeding. So that includes specialist resources uh, who patrol um, the, well, the Safer Road Support Unit, uh, formerly known as Traffic, who um, patrol the more arterial routes. But equally, we have uh, neighbourhood policing teams who, in many places, including Truro, actually carry out weekly speed enforcement activity uh, with the use of speed guns. And uh, certainly recent, uh, recently, uh, we've stopped uh, at least 200 cars each time through the course of a day. And I have here detail of a breadth of uh, offences from that. So seven tickets for seatbelts offences, uh, seven warnings for lighting, three vehicles with no insurance, three vehicles with no MOT, uh, and so on. Um, and uh, with many of these offences often comes the fact that someone's been stopped for speeding in the first place. So uh, we are as proactive as we can be. In addition, we run a number of community speed watches. So um, what I would say is if people are interested, we are always uh, looking for volunteers. We've had, um, I think in the last two months, certainly upwards of 60 volunteers that we've trained in the community. So um, there is a concerted effort across Cornwall to tackle speeding and other um, offences for those who, uh, offenders who use the road. When it comes to the Isles of Scilly, um, recent dialogue over there has identified the Community Safety Partnership have three key priorities and actually road safety is one of them. Um, so a renewed energy and impetus really in the islands are on road safety and certainly in uh, the pre-Christmas period seven people arrested for drink driving over there and again um, may have been stopped for speeding in the first place. Um, and final point really is that we have uh, from the back of uh, a conversation at the Safer Cornwall Partnership last week reinvigorated the Road Casualty Reduction Group for Cornwall, which will bring together um, all of these initiatives in one multi-agency group. And that will be attended by Superintendent John Green, who is my lead for uh, road safety issues in the county. Commissioner, if I may, just sorry, my, my apologies, one, one other piece. Um, it is uh, very much a, a real issue. Um, and as you know, you're currently uh, discussing next year's plan. Uh, we do recognise that killed or serious injured figures in the last 12 months have gone up. Um, so the previous two years, they've been round about the 650 mark. And the last 12 months, they're, they're over 700 now, approaching 750. So we have to look at that. We have to also remember, although it is very much road safety is, is very much the police in, in the forefront doing the right thing, uh, road design and road safety measures are very much a matter for other partners, highway agency in particular, um, but also road behaviour is very much a matter for the individual. And I think that's going to follow in another question, that, that road safety is everyone's responsibility. So whilst this focuses on speed, um, certainly the deputy and I uh, undertook a high profile event before Cornwall to show our commitment in, in Devon and Cornwall but actually, particularly on the roads of Devon, we'll be visiting Cornwall soon in respect of Op Vortex, which is looking at the fatal four of which speed is first and foremost, but clearly also alcohol, and Julie mentioned earlier, the alcohol campaign here in Cornwall, uh, not wearing seat belts, but also distraction. And the biggest issue very much is the amount of distraction that the deputy and I encountered on motorways and other roads, whereby individuals are using their mobile phones. Uh, and it is uh, a real issue here uh, in the peninsula um, whereby I'm struggling to understand the availability of Bluetooth and inbuilt car mediums, the ability to leave a simple message on one's phone, why the public find it necessary to speak on their mobile phones whilst driving. 
and do not be surprised if, as you say, you raise the profile in your plan, much as we will have to find the resources somewhere, that we will take a far more assertive approach in this than we have done so to date.